So if there's one thing that leaders are concerned with today, it's about how to create change. Leadership is not about the title on the door or where your office is. It's about what you do to bring people together, to put the right issues on the table, to solve the problems that are there. What are the things that make successful efforts succeed? Number one is a sense of purpose. Is what happens is people understand what's the goal? What do we have to achieve? And they understand that it may not be easy. It may not be simple. It may not be things that we're comfortable with or that we figured out and we know how to do. But they understand they're things that are important and they have to be done. Purpose. Number two is what happens when they get frustrated. Because as leaders, we can't protect the people we're trying to mobilize from frustration, fear, ambiguity, getting stuck, not knowing the answers. But what we can do is get under their wings and energize them and give them lift and give them the strength and the confidence to keep going even when things get tough. So purpose, will, third, rigor. Rigor isn't bureaucracy. It isn't rigor mortis. But it's, are we inventing best practices? Are we learning from experience? Are we constantly asking, what worked, what didn't work? What do I have to teach somebody? What do I have to learn from somebody? And inventing new ways of working and encoding those so they stick. Purpose, will, rigor, fourth is risk. The risk to invest in someone else's success. The risk to put myself in somebody else's hands. The risk to take my own ambitions and goals and put them here in order to be able to achieve for the entire organization what takes us all here. That's risk. And the fifth factor, right in the middle of the chart, is candor is the willingness to tell the truth, hear the truth, pay attention to the feedback, and not justify or rationalize why things are the way they are, but be able to take the facts to heart. I want you to think of a challenge that you may be facing right now in your life or in your career, and to use today and the exercises we go through and the skills that we learn to lift yourself, to challenge that. What you've got here is a wonderful community that's a resource for you. I'd like you to really use the community here to, to challenge yourself, to talk through some things, to ask yourself some questions of, what difference can I make or how can I approach a situation differently that I'm working with or struggling with in my life? The moments of truth aren't the people who are right with us and there and share the vision and share the courage and get what we're trying to accomplish and are ready to take the journey and are willing to learn, but our courage is gonna be tested by the folks in the middle and the folks on the pessimistic side. That's where our courage is gonna be tested. Courage says where we are now and where we want to be are two different places, and I believe we can get us there. As you learn more about what we do, You'll see these five factors, it's real easy to explain. We can explain it, you can understand it, you can read about it in less than 10 minutes. But encoding it into your behavior, and encoding it into your behavior of your teams, and learning to use that to diagnose what's going on around you, and raise the level of courage to embrace change, that's gonna take some practice 
And that's the journey that we invite you to join us in as we move forward with this work on courage. I'm not going to ask you, did you enjoy yourself today? I'm going to ask you instead, what are you going to do differently when you go back to the office?